Carl, we're going to take a look at the run game of the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, the one thing you will have to be alert for, Bob, is integrity of your gaps. So when you see the front four here, you've got to make sure that they maintain their lane integrity because what they'll do for you is they'll run a guy across the motion just to change the gaps here. So you got a guy running himself out of the play. You got linebackers. I'll bring it back. And when I talk gap integrity, the two linebackers here will have to definitely know what the guys up front are doing because I'm going to run it in slow motion and show you how this guy gets this guy to commit and take himself out of the play. You see him run to the gap there, and he sits. But the back was never going to that gap, Bob. You know why? I'll bring it back. This is the key to this running play. It's a power play. A power play means that this guy is going to pull, and at some point he's either going to turn up or he's going to come and seal the edge, what he does here. But for linebackers, they'll go to the gaps not knowing that when this guy vacates, you just got to follow him and the back will do the same. Just keep an eye on the guard. So the middle linebacker gets fooled by the eyes of the back. Yep. He doesn't watch the guard, and he's in no man's land. Right. So here's a guy here. He thinks it's coming in this hole. It was never coming there. This guy's eyes are right there. He's going to follow that guy, and he's only baiting this guy to go in and try to take himself out of the play. And so he just follows, follows, follows. There's your seal block. He's around the edge. Their key will be the pulling guard. Follow the guard, he'll take you to the football. What do you see for the Minnesota Vikings? Uh, yeah, you got to respect. They got a lot of good players. You start them off with the run. Dalvin Cook, he's a great running back. I mm -hmm. give him a lot of respect because on film, he looked great. And um, you got to respect the receivers, Diggs and um, Adam. You got to respect those guys. And um, so, you know, the offense, they got all their weapons and a lot of good players out there. They work together as a team. And we excited to get out there and be able to go against them, man. Marcus, um, one of the things that I noticed, too, about your game, even when you're not getting there, you just keep going and working and working and working. Is that something that you try to do to lead by example for the young guys to see that if you're not getting there with your first move, and maybe the ball comes out, you don't stop working ever? Yeah, yeah, to be real with you, man, that's something I've been doing my whole life. Uh, I, I love to tell you a little story. I, I do it for the young guys, something like that, but I don't. I do it to win. Because I feel like if you're going to play football, you get out there, you got to be 100%. And I feel like if you ain't playing like that, then you ain't playing to win. Coach, it was very impressive the fact that your quarterback was able to get right. all the way back to a 4-3. Take us through how that went. Right. It was really good quarterback play on Daniel's part. But basically, this was the end of really our first drive. And so, fortunately this year, we've scored on the opening drives all four times, three touchdowns and a field goal. But basically what this is, is we presented a run formation where we presented the running back to the side of the tight end where we usually run like little ride plays. So what we wanted to try to do was present – a simple combination over here, which goes back to the, the beginning of time. It's a, it's a seven route, so a corner route, a snag, and then a flat combination. And, so, and then on the back side, what we did was we put a back line six route or an in route. And then you'll notice here you got a, a flat fake, and then the back would be the flat element. So really what the quarterback looks at is this seven route or corner route's on alert. So if it pops, throw it. Otherwise, he's reading a flat defender where this would be one in this case, and then this would be two. The backside six is three, and then really the back after the play fake is number four. So, you know, as Dan went through the progression, he's trying to figure all this out. It kind of got jumbled up because Benny kind of got a little bit further inside. So that's why you see him open late, but Dan wasn't expecting him there. That's why he moved on to the backside three, four. And so it was actually a very good quarterback play. The protection last week was awesome, and that helped contribute to the fact that Dan had time to get all the way to his 4-3. So let's watch it happen here, and um, you'll see exactly what's going on. So you see we got the snag, the seven, the flat combination. They cover pretty decent. They double up the six, but they forget the back. And so that's a really good job. Certainly the protection is excellent. You can see his eyes good, and then he just naturally goes right back through it hits Wayne for a touchdown. So there's a lot of really good stuff happening there, obviously starting with the quarterback. Carl, <laughs> their defense improved dramatically from the week before. Um, what did they do differently, if anything? 
Well, I think the, the number one thing is they got everybody on the same page. You did not see a lot of miscommunication. And the one thing that you notice, hey, if you can find a mismatch against this defense, go for it. But we're not going to have guys running through our defense unaccounted for. And that was the biggest shift. I just saw everyone on the same page, whether it was zone, whether it was man, whether it was a combination of such. You didn't see that one guy running free and everyone looking at each other. They all knew what they had to do. We said last week, great minds think alike, and we both picked Wayne Gallman. Yeah, Wayne Gallman came up huge, over 100 yards from scrimmage. He knew he had to come in and play big in the absence of Saquon Barkley, and he did exactly that, having two touchdowns and some crucial mo- What's up? What? Really Speak of the about. devil. All right, Love so talk numbers. to us. You in here now, man. Get over here. Come stand here next to me. So talk to us about your performance, um, you know, this past Sunday. Obviously, you knew you had to step up and play well. Talk to us about your mindset going into the game. From the moment I stepped on the field, my, my mindset was just, all right, Wayne, let's get it. It's your first game starting. Um, just go off your base fundamentals and do what it takes to win. The one thing that I love that you said during the week, it's not to prove other people wrong, it's to prove yourself right and your capabilities of what you're able to bring to this football team. Right, and uh, I feel like that's the only way to go in this league, man. You got to come as an individual, and at the same time, you got to be ready to do whatever it takes for the team to win. Now let's get into right week five. Let's go to the Vikings. I started right away with this offensive line. The Minnesota Vikings defense is one that's in third right now in the NFL on third down, and their big ability is to get after the quarterback. You think of seven of their last eight games, they haven't given up 250 yards passing to an opposing quarterback, so it's going to be imperative for this Giants offensive line to hold up and give Wayne, who we just had in here, those extra rushing yards in order to succeed in this football yeah, game. Yeah, and not just that, and give Daniel Jones that time back there to go through his progression and deliver the ball down the field so that they can have those big plays and deliver the ball to those playmakers. And obviously one of those playmakers is my guy for above the numbers this week. Big and surprise, and a wide receiver here, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, and that's Golden Tate. Look, he's a leader. He's a veteran. He understands what it is to play in this league. And I think his presence, along with his production, is just going to help Daniel Jones and help this entire offense kind of raise this level of play. And that's the guy that will be able to do it. I think, he, obviously, his production speaks for itself throughout his career. And I think it's only going to pay dividends, uh, not just this week, but weeks to come. He's coming in with a chip on his shoulder to prove himself as a, a wide receiver and a legitimate person to step up as that number one. Let's go now. Here are the select plays that we have for you. Yeah, let's do it. We see him at the top of the screen. This is from the preseason game up against the Patriots. Yeah. So he gets a little bump and run here. He just does a good job of first faking him outside on the release, getting vertical, using his physicality to get the DB off of him, catching the ball in a little bit of traffic, getting a big gain delivering the ball to the ref and doing what he has to do. And here's the next play we select. This reminds me a little bit of Manning to Mario Manningham in the Super Bowl at the top. Yeah, same eerie uh, resemblance, obviously, top of the screen here. And he just gets a good release, gets his hands off of him, gets back vertical, and allows Daniel Jones to kind of drop it right in the bucket there on the sideline where only Golden Tate or it was going out of bounds. No one else was getting that football other than those two guys. So that's what he brings to the table. Danny delivers. Daniel Jones, the first quarterback, rookie quarterback since Phil Simms to win his first two starts, and he's putting up some pretty impressive numbers considering he's learning on the job. Well, he's learning on the job. He doesn't even have a full complement of skilled players around him, so he's really doing well, and the coaching staff is doing a great job of giving him stuff that he can do. Running for daylight. You take a look at the Giants this season. They have five runs of 20 or more yards, Saquon Barkley's got two of them, including a 27-yard touchdown run. Wayne Gallman's got one. Sterling Shepard has one. Another receiver, Benny Fowler, who was let go this week, has one. They're finding different ways to make big plays. Well, let's just say it's not my type of offense, meaning it's not your father's type of offense. It's all new now. This is in the 80s. They're using skilled players in, in ways that they haven't done in years. Now you're starting to see it impact the rundowns. Well, with the Vikings coming to town on Sunday, Minnesota touts a run-first offense, but their receivers are nothing to scoff at. So, Carl, I'll start with you on this one. What's a bigger threat for the Giants' defense? Is it running back Dalvin Cook or wide receivers Diggs and Thielen? Wow, that's interesting because this week is a different proposition. It could be, I'm going to say, the wide receivers. What? Are yes. you kidding me? They, Dalvin Cook's like... 
what, 50% of their offense? He, they lean on him so much. Well, yeah, but then when you got the diva screaming, hey, we are wide open and you're not throwing us the ball, I, I, I don't think guess what's going to happen? No, no, there are no He's divas. He's got to be looking for those divas. There are no divas. They're, they're, they're focusing on the run game. They like to get this guy started. Once he gets going, they're hoping that that kind of drowns out your defense, beats everybody up. Then they'll toss the ball well, the to run the receivers. Game, the run game is a known entity. No, the it's passing more than game is to forgotten men. No, They're going to get those guys. Those are the, the threats. The question is, what's the biggest threat? The run wide game receivers. is the biggest threat. The, the wide game. receivers that this week. Go. Most of the time I would agree, but this week it'll be the you wide receivers. You don't have to agree. Don't Fall agree. asleep on the wide receivers and you'll see what happens. Okay. Hey, Giants fans. Jabril Peppers here. Want to be the first to see Giants videos? Subscribe now.